discuss about this starting system schematic how we make in the capital logic and what are the requirements in the capital logic to make this starting system now we are going to move to the 2d drawing how this particular 2d drawing we can make uh, in the capital xc and what are the parameters we have to define so first uh, moving uh, before moving so i am not taking the big harness i am just taking the two terminals and one wire okay and that is battery positive harness so if you see here suppose this is my circuit and i have to make the battery positive harness that is my battery positive harness and this connection is from b100 to d100 and this is one wire which is going from this to this okay so what i have to do i'll just show you so this is one terminal that is going to mount here on this side okay of battery this is the i am giving the practical example how it would be this would be my eyelet okay uh, this would be my battery eyelet okay this would be this can be like this also okay or normal also this can be like normal also okay uh, like this also this is the first thing we will talk about this cover also but first we will see the main things uh, regarding the circuits then there would be one defined length okay so would that length would be from battery post battery p positive terminal to the starter starter motor terminal right the second terminal which we have seen in this which we have seen from here to here this would be the length okay so this length will come from the 3d okay so i have taken one example of 500 mm okay and this is my wire okay the length of this is 500 mm so i have given some length here as well till here and here so this particular length can be 20 mm or 30 mm based on the you know length of this so here i will take 30 to 40 mm that would be provided the hst hst is nothing the heat shrink sleeve so if you can see here this is my heat shrink sleeve okay this is my heat shrink sleeve you can see here okay this is this would be my 2d drawing then there would be a one this type of uh, you know um, crossing i have done this type of crossing i have done on this so this is called non slit corrugated tube so what does it mean non slit corrugated tube so there are two types of corrugated tube one is non slit and other one is slit so non slit is are something which are not split okay not not split okay so i will show you some example of split and non split so you can not split those or you can not take out of the wire from those you have to just cut all the uh, you know uh, uh, slit uh, sorry all the corrugated tube then only you can take the wire out of it okay otherwise you can not take uh, wire out of this so non slit means not open okay it would be closed from uh, all around uh, then here you will see the hst uh, to be provided here also heat sink tube and then you you have the uh, starter motor uh, terminal okay d100 i take the example then how it would be the circuit list that we call that wire circuit list based on which that your supplier is going to provide the this thing mm, this this harness so i take one cavity cavity 1 where you do not have different cavity you have just terminal you can take cavity 1 cavity pin 1 then circuit number which i have already told you the circuit number will come from here that is bp100 then wire size that is nothing but csa that how much wire size you are taking then what is the color of this particular then two matlab from where it is coming and going to so it is going to starter motor terminal that is d100 okay then we have the pin so pin is same like we have here also the terminal so you can just give one then plug there is no inform uh, no required no plug required here so you just give the dash then here one more table is also given that is additional part so you might be seeing there are few additional part as well so if i take one example of this one this one so if you see here there is a additional part that is cover so if you want this cover to be assembled and it should be given to from the supplier then you have to write the here also this detail that you have to give the part number then quantity then mfg part number then who is the supplier minda yajaki aptive then battery what is the description of that whether battery term, terminal cover so suppose if i i'm going with this okay this one so in this case you have to give the uh, you know detail of this also suppose if i am using this particular terminal then you have to give the detail of this cover and these nuts also you have to give the 
detail of nut bolt also and your final harness would be look like this that you would be terminal here then this would be hst and then you it would be corrugated tube and then other end also the terminal also this would be similar this is nothing but the label of the harness uh, you can see identification label as well which i have told you in the last class of the cap h as well so i hope you understand this is very small harness i have given just overview how we are going to so the particular one harness in the cap h okay then if you see the starting system 3d packaging so this would be my ignition switch this would be my neutral switch then this is my starter motor here then this is magnetic switch magnetic switch is nothing but we have already told solenoid this is why they are calling it switch i already told this is the switching process for the motor okay we call it relay also magnetic relay or solenoid relay which is used to switch the motor on okay okay and then we have the battery from battery we have the these things okay so uh, as i told you uh, earlier also when we are seeing the capital logic that we were going from engine harness then body harness then ip harness okay so suppose if my ignition switch is here then it will come in the ip harness okay this particular then you have if you are going from engine to ip then you have to use one inline connector i have told you already the structure of the harnesses we call this particular harness we call is engine harness then other this thing we call it body harness then here we call it ip harness so suppose if you are going in a different zone then you have to apply the inline connector and then you have to connect to the different harness so suppose if i am going from body uh, to engine then i have to put one inline connector then only i can i can go to the engine harness and why i am going to apply this inline connector i have already discussed in the connector uh, you know videos uh, where and what we are going uh, for the inline connector and what are the advantage and disadvantage i hope you are clear on this 3d packaging of this particular starting system now just moving to the one insulation which i have uh, told you we, i will discuss so this is the slitted slitted corrugated tube you can see this is open okay here you can these are your wires and these this is slitted you see here it is already cut cutted okay you can take your wire out of this okay but when it cut, comes to non slitted na then it would not be like this it would be it would not be open okay it would be closed okay this thing would be closed i hope you got my point that what is the difference between slitted and non slitted these are the some diameters of this corrugated tube tu15 tu10 tu7 tu5 tu3 okay based on your bundle diameter these things are decided ki which type of uh, you know which size of corrugated tube you are going to use and i told you some of the um, videos that there is a one is spiral tape and other is the sport tape okay so this is the spiral tape this is how it used to be you know spiral to the uh, wires you see but when it comes to sport tape then this is your sport tape this is the sport tape okay so generally your spiral tape has more strength and more uh, you know assembly strength rather than sport tape sport tape sport tape we give uh, you know on a over the corrugated tube to just you know if this is your corrugated tube if it is open then it is not good right so we just give sport tape over this to close this so that your wires would not come out but when it comes to diagnose then you have to just remove those uh, sport tape and you can just take those wire out of suppose your uh, function is not working and you doubt that this wire is a issue okay so non slitted may uh, in non slitted you can take this thing out easily but when it is uh, sorry mm, slitted in slitted you can take out of this easily but when it comes to non slitted right it is closed so you cannot take the wire easily okay it would be a problem for you so that's why if you see uh, for battery cable only because in battery only single cable is there that's why we use the non slitted non split corrugated tube but when it comes to other harness like body harness engine harness where you are using these type of wires then most of the time we use the splitted harness sorry splitted split corrugated tube on slit corrugated tube so that's all from my side uh, in this video if you have any point or any comments on whole video you please comments and like